Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey. So in this video today, I'm just going to be showing you how you can use spray paint and stain to transform any piece. I picked this little cutie up from Goodwill, and now we are about to give it a makeover. So let's get started. So first things first, of course, you're going to want to clean your piece. So I'm just going to be cleaning this piece out, removing the drawer, cleaning the sides and the bottom, just removing all of the dust and dirt that this piece has accumulated while it has been in my garage. Now we're gonna move along to spray painting. So I'm using Rust-Oleum's Blossom White, and this is a paint plus primer. And before I start that, I'm just going to kind of sand down any imperfections that my piece has and wipe that away. And then I'm just going to start to spray paint this piece. All you have to do, the first coverage is going to look terrible. So the main thing you wanna make sure that you're doing when you are spray painting is not trying to cover up any areas if you still see the original color through. Just just let it dry and then come back and put on either a second or third coat if it is needed. Another thing you want to make sure that you're doing is spray painting both horizontally and vertically so that you can maximize your coverage. Now I'm going to start the staining process so I'm going to be using Minwax Dark Walnut, my respirator mask, some gloves and then also a chip brush. So I'm going to be switching between that chip brush and just the paper towel. I like to apply stain sometimes with paper towel actually most of the time. So I'm just going to start to rub in my stain and when you are using this stain um, you just want to work in small sections because the longer you leave the stain on of course the darker the color is going to be and I wanted this to be fairly light so I'm just adding this to the sides getting in the corners with my chip brush and then removing the stain that I don't want anymore so if your piece has a lot of either carved in details appliques or spindle legs it's really nice to use the chip brush to get into those grooves and then take a paper towel cheesecloth or rag and remove any of the excess stain that you don't need also, if you want certain areas to be darker, all you have to do is, again, apply more of the stain, let it sit for a little while, and then remove it. If you want to use a different color stain, so let's say if you have like a gray stain and then, um, you know, dark walnut, espresso, whatever, and you want to mix them all together, you can do that. Just, again, work in small areas and add one on top of the other, or you can mix them before you actually put them on your piece. But there's a lot of different things that you can do with using the stain to come up with different finishes. All right, so moving along. So this piece, the top left, had a little bit of water damage, and to quickly conceal that, all I'm gonna do is plank the top. So I'm gonna take my piece of wood. You can either mark it off, just like I'm doing here, or you can measure your piece, then measure your piece of wood, and then mark it off and cut the pieces that you need onto your miter saw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can just take your measurements and then if you buy your wood from Lowe's or Home Depot, they will make the straight cuts for you. So after you've gotten your pieces cut, the next thing that you're, wanna, you're going to want to do is sand smooth your pieces and round out the edges. The next step is staining. So I'm going to be using Golden Oak by Minwax and I am going to stain all of my wood pieces. So when I was finished staining, I recognized that the second to the last piece was a little bit lighter than the other pieces. So all you have to do is just take that piece and just put some more stain on there and remove the stain until you get the color that you need to match with the other ones. Now I'm gonna attach the wood pieces and I'm just gonna be using my wood glue and my nail gun to do that. And I'm just gonna go piece by piece attaching these to the top, making sure that they are nice and secure. The next thing I did was cover my nail holes with wood filler. You don't have to do this, but it does give it a nice clean finish. And all you do is you add that on there, remove it and stain back over it. And the next thing that I'm doing now is just attaching back the original hardware and that's it. So the moment we've all been waiting for, which I say this all the time, but <laughs> it is the reveal. So I love how this turned out. It's super easy to do. All you're gonna need is some spray paint and stain. So I have done this before. I've done it to a larger dresser and I also did it to some dining room chairs. So if you haven't seen those videos, I will have both of them linked down below so you can check them out. Again, if you are using spray paint, I always, I just would recommend either Valspar or Rust-Oleum. They really work well and the ones that have paint and primer are the best to use. So 
I'm loving this piece. I hope you guys are loving this piece. If you are, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll always be aware of when I upload my videos. And I will see you in my next one.